A vacation goes terribly wrong in Mason. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Curtis Fuller. A family who has a son with autism says they were kicked out of the Great Wolf Lodge after a few noise complaints were made to their room. WLWT News 5's Rachel Hersheimer spoke with the family about this shocking situation in a story you'll see only on WLWT. If this could happen to us, this could happen to you. Foster parents Jenna and Gavin Wells take their children to the Great Wolf Lodge every year for a fall break getaway. This is the first time we've ever been part of a noise complaint. When they arrived on Tuesday, everything seemed normal, but when Gavin was leaving the room, he got a surprise at the door. I was actually walking out of the room and a hotel employee was about to knock on the door. I said, hello, and he said, just so you know, we received a noise complaint. It was kind of a shoulder shrug of, we received a complaint. I have to come up here. Uh, it's before quiet hours. Gavin says he was confused, but assumed everything was OK. A few hours later, when the whole family reunited in the room for bedtime, another knock came from the door. They insisted that there were multiple warnings and we had been notified. Jenna says she explained to the staff her autistic son was stimming and needed a few minutes, but says that did not change a thing. I repeatedly told him, you understand that he has autism, right? And he just, he said, I don't care. And that we had to leave. Our kids were all crying. Why do we have to leave? Why are the police making us leave? I don't want to go to jail. Now the family is asking for change in case other families find themselves in the same position. All children are noisy and all children are different and they should be compassionate. It is supposed to be a safe place for them and we felt so unsafe. They need to fix things. Well, tonight, Great Wolf Lodge releasing a statement to us. It reads in part, quote, in reviewing the Wells family's recent visit, while we offered to move their room in response to the noise complaints registered, it's clear there were some misunderstandings and communication issues that could have been handled differently, which we are sorry for and addressing. The statement goes on to say that Great Wolf Lodge apologized to the Wells family and offered them a free stay in the future.